So this is an absolutely terrible thing about God. Uh, and this is a, a something that we as Christians need to think about, meditate on, and uh, take it very seriously. Someone emailed me and his question was pretty much, he made a statement. He said, you know, I made a profession of faith. I, I, I believed myself to be a Christian at one time in my life and I lived that way, but then I fell away and I started, you know, I, I, I stopped going to church. I stopped, you know, thinking about the Bible, reading about it, and I just fell away. But now it's like, I, I, I know that that was wrong and I want to come back, but I just don't feel it. And he's pretty much just asking, is there any hope for me? And now I responded to him in a lengthy email, but let's look at this. First John 2, 19, they went out from us because they were not of us. So we know that he wasn't a true Christian, but here's the thing. And here's the question I want to pose to those of you who are Christians. Okay. In all of the new Testament, how many examples can you find of people that made false professions of faith? then fell away. Okay. So they came out, they said they were Christians and then they fell away. Um, and then were able to come back and become truly saved. So here's a picture. You've got somebody who claims to be a Christian. They make a profession of faith. They may even get baptized. They may live as a Christian for a while, for a season, and then they fall away and then come back. Where, where in the new Testament are we given examples of this happening? Can you think of just one example in the new Testament where this happens to someone? And, and here's the thing, can you, can you, do you understand why you can't find one? Can, when you're thinking about it, you understand why you can't pull an example out? It's because there isn't one. There's not one example, okay? God gives us no example in all the New Testament of someone who made a profession of faith, fell away, and then was able to become truly saved. In no way does the Lord encourage any of us that falling away is safe. On the contrary, it's deadly. It's absolutely deadly. You fall away after coming to the truths of the gospel, after making a claim of acceptance, okay? You fall away and there is no promise of a true return in the New Testament. And I've seen this in my own personal life, in real life. I worked with a guy when I worked at, for the federal government uh, back in 2012. I'll never forget, I got saved in March of 2012 and I was at work and I was in the elevator and it was me, another guy, and this guy I'm talking about. So I'm talking to this other guy and I'm talking about Christianity and when I got out of the elevator, this other guy followed me. He tapped me on the shoulder and he said, yo, he said, man, I got saved too. I just got saved a week ago. And I was like, that's amazing, you know, because now I had somebody who I could, you know, talk to talk about with God and, and praise the Lord with and all this stuff. And so we had lunch and we sat there and we just shared our testimonies. We talked about what happened to us, how we used to live before Christ saved us. And it was, it was wonderful. But the thing I began to notice was over the course of three months, it was like every day he began to just fall away a little more, like pull away a little more. And it got to the place where at about three months, I remember I was coming out of a meeting and he was coming out of the elevator. So we kind of met in the hallway and I looked at him and I said, hey, good morning, brother. And he kind of looked at me with this face like he didn't say it, but you know how you can kind of people can speak through their expressions on their face. It was just look like, hey, yo, don't call me brother. And he kind of just said good morning and kind of like walked away really quickly. And I was like, I was like, man, what's up with that? Well, what's, what's wrong with dude? And so I remember we were following each other on Twitter. And so when we were like in the midst of talking and, 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 and fellowshipping uh, in our faith, his Twitter, he had crosses. He, he posts like Bible scriptures and Bible tweets. And when I went back and checked his, checked his Twitter, uh, everything had changed. He had taken down all the pictures of crosses, of Bibles, all the, the scripture texts, all that. Everything was gone. And he had changed and everything became about goth like goth, like G-O-T-H, like, like heavy metal, like goth. It was the, it was the weirdest thing. It was like, he changed, like within three months, it was like, it came and it went. And you know what? It's been 12 years, it's been 12, 13 years. And I'll look back just to check and see if things have changed and they haven't. It's the same thing. He hasn't come back. He hasn't made another profession of faith. He, it's, it's almost as though he's gone. Okay. Um, there was a, a time in his life where he understood the gospel. He understood the, the word of God and what it said about sinners and our depravity. He understood it and he accepted it. And then he, he, he turned his back on it. He well, now we know he turned his back because it wasn't real in the first place. But we need to understand that that is an absolutely terrifying thing to make a profession of faith to fall away because there is no hope. There is There, there really is no, and I'm not saying it can't happen, but what I'm saying is we don't have any real promises in scripture of it being able to happen. And so, uh, and like I said, that's not the only example I have. I, there are another, there's another guy I know in my family 
who uh, made a profession of faith, he fell away. And to this day, he has not made another profession of faith. And so be, <laughs> take, you know, we need to understand that this is serious. This is, this is deadly serious. And we need to um, think about things like this to, and be encouraged uh, and, and just live in this truth.